I guess it's time. to the channel thanks for stopping by as always always appreciate it um, I have a cool video for you guys today it's a unique one something I haven't done before so I was definitely um, happy to do it it's a small youtuber challenge um, I got challenged by Nakama collectibles so awesome channel <clears throat> excuse me <laughs> with some awesome content animes pops um, you know fellow you um, one piece lover um, as, as I am my, myself so uh, definitely uh, appreciate the uh, shout out to do this. Um, I saw my uh, good friend Rob Molina do his, and um, it, was, it was awesome. And I'm like, all right, I'll do mine too. So um, definitely um, cool. And hopefully I don't make this video too long. <laughs> and hope you guys enjoy. So let me get started, I guess. I wrote everything on this little notebook pad. Uh, I was trying to find a reason to use this. I bought it and never used it. So I finally wrote all the questions on it. But let me get it going. Um, the first question was, describe your content in one sentence. Pretty much, you know, as my title says, you know, popping stories. Um, I love collecting pops. And um, I also collect uh, Dragon Ball figures and One Piece figures. Uh, one Piece is my favorite anime. And um, I wear the hat. <clears throat> this is one of the characters in One Piece wears this hat. It's a character named Ace. So a lot of people think it's a cowboy hat. But I guess it could be a cowboy hat. But this is uh, from an anime, so I wear it. Um, yes, uh, I go going back to that. I collect Dragon Ball, One Piece uh, figures, and uh, pops as always. Um, a little bit of mixed bag into pops. Um, this is more than a sentence. I'm sorry, <laughs> but um, yeah, and I I do my stories. Um, I, I like to think I'm a creative person in a way. I like to create different content and uh, kind of like uh, share with different people and different like either stories or scripts, etc. So popping stories came about and um, here, here I am today you know um, number two said so what equipment do I use to film I use my phone it's a Samsung Note 8 I got it a couple years ago and um, it's done me justice since um, the video quality is pretty good uh, camera and everything is pretty good so I use that and um, yeah pretty much just use my, my, my phone <laughs> um, number three says what do you use to edit uh, again, that's simple. I use my phone. It's a couple apps I got from like the play the Google Play Store that helps with Google, that helps with YouTubers, and they have the free apps. And um, one of them is like YouTube Studio. Um, I can always like edit my thumbnail on there whenever I'm doing the video, different images or whatever I want. And there's another video, it's kind of like a YouTube Maker kind of thing. So I, I like I can combine the my different screenshots and different video clips and stuff I make so I combine everything together and I also do some kind of like this uh, some kind of artwork app that also I can use for YouTube and uh, that's why I got the whole popping stories thing and the whole music and everything so so I put combine that all together and I uh, make my videos my edit for all, all from my phone um, number four number four is which youtuber do you resemble the most content well, I guess I don't know if I it's not know if there's a particular YouTube I resemble the most content but I guess for, as like for everyone people who collect um, pops and um, statues and stuff like that and like anime I'm kind of like a little bit of everybody I guess and um, I have my own unique style to my own stuff also um, so a little bit of everyone I guess who does like unboxing and pop hunts um, st statues unboxing and um, pretty much stuff like that yeah pretty much and I mean, I also like sprinkle my stories in there. I don't know who else really does stories with their pops, but um, I guess that's my own unique thing. I guess I added to it. Uh, number five, <clears throat> excuse me. It says, which YouTuber do you was it love to collab? With? Which YouTuber do you love? Would you love to collab with, and why? Um, there's a one particular YouTuber. I mean, there's plenty. I would like to collab. I mean, I've done it before with my good friend Rob Molina. But I definitely like to collaborate, like you know, Nakama Collectibles, you know, with the anime stuff. Also, uh, Jubes Vids, um, uh, Pop Academy, um, uh, Pop Couple. Yeah, there's plenty of like YouTubers I love to like collab with. Um, small or big channels, but um, one particular channel that I like to watch because uh, he's very big on like One Piece is Teching One Hundred One. It's like 
T-E-K-K-I-N-G-101. He's a big YouTuber. He has over 420,000 subscribers. So he's well on his way to like almost a million and stuff. So he, he does a lot of One Piece. Very, uh, he's, a, he's a young kid. I don't even think he's 30 yet, but he's, uh, he sits, looks like he just sits in his room and just talks, you know. And he makes his little videos and his um, awesome stuff. And um, a lot of people chime in and he does a lot of lives. And he's always talking about uh, One Piece, um, the mangas, the anime, so, and other um, animes. So I definitely like to tune in with him and would love to collab with him one day. If that was possible, he's um, also awesome content. Uh, number six, <clears throat> does your channel meet the new monetization guidelines? Uh, currently, no. I think you have to have uh, at least a thousand subscribers, and I'm not sure how much view hours. I think it was three thousand, four thousand that I've heard from other videos. I'm not sure. I didn't really look at too much of the guidelines, but I know you have to have at least a thousand subscribers, though, as one of the guidelines. Um, I'm currently a little under two forty. 140 subscribers which is fine you know I'm a small youtuber definitely a small youtuber I started about about like eight months ago now I think and um, you know slowly slowly going up and it's fine but I've been happy to uh, see the subscri uh, people subscribing and people watching my stuff um, you know anytime anybody watches anything you know it's always it's always really cool and to see like the number of people who watch it could be 10 it could be 100 whatever um, is always appreciative um next question number seven says do you think the new guidelines are fair um i can see why they probably moved it up to like a thousand subscribers and view hours i guess they wanted people who really like like are committed to youtube like um to be able to like do the extra stuff like youtube live and stuff like off their phones and stuff um so i'll say it's kind of fair in that way but um i mean like little like younger say little younger smaller youtube channels like mine you know i would like to be like live off my phone i like to record on my phone but i have my laptop i can always record live and stuff but i guess they're trying to protect themselves from like i guess like bad stuff that would happen with like random people doing lives and doing inappropriate stuff that they don't catch right away so if, if you have like off like their phones or something so if you have you always have your phone on you so people can easily do things that are inappropriate live and youtube's not quick enough to catch it so I can see why they might have done some kind of stuff like that. So I can, um, I can. I mean, hopefully one day I get to a thousand. I can do back. I can go back live on my phone. But I can understand why. So I think it's fair for now. Um, number eight. Uh, what do you classify as a small YouTuber? I would say a small YouTuber channel would probably be like under a thousand um, subscribers. Um, I think. I mean, it could be. I mean, any, I guess anybody. If you're really like high up there, like. A million subscribers anybody like 200,000 or less can buy be a, a small youtuber to you to you but for me being like in the hundreds early hundreds uh, I think like a under a thousand would consider like small youtuber and if you get higher than that and if you get a lot of views I don't really consider you a small youtuber um, even if you have like 500 subscribers if you're getting like 2,000 views that's that's great I mean people loving your stuff so, um, but small or big YouTuber, as long as you're doing your thing and you love what you do, you enjoy it, you know, lo love the interaction with your subscribers or, and random people who come in and, and chime in. And um, as long as it's all that, that's, that's, that's fun. That's fun for me. Um, I don't really, really care about the numbers, really. Um, I've seen many channels grow from, like, from little to, like, they're huge now. And I've seen, like, channels, like, steadily grow slowly, like mine. So... It doesn't really matter as long as you like what you're doing um, and you enjoy it. I think that's fun. Um, number nine says, if you had more money, equipment, su um, support, what content would you make? I guess I would focus more on my story stuff. Like I like to produce my stories. Um, I just like pre pretty much putting them out to like have people immerse in the story. I like creating new worlds, new characters, and um, I. I fell in love with like movies and film like in college and um and ever since then i've been like wanting to like continue writing stories and and i want to make like my own movie one day so i mean youtube gives me the platform to like bring out some of my stories i would well if i had more equipment and money and stuff i like to like shoot movies and stuff like little movies but like bring in like new actors and new actresses like up and coming people like local people that can like get sh like can show their face get their names known known and like you know create a story for them you know 
and film it for them and like put it on YouTube and then like kind of like will support me because it's on my channel but also support them so you'll see new content with, with them and their acting skills and kind of propel them you know so I mean that's not like it's not like um it's not out of the question I mean I still plan on doing something like that and like my own stories maybe I can have like some kind of animation to go with it instead of like a black screen <laughs> it's kind of like a audio book pretty much my story so far but I've been appreciating you guys watching I mean listening so that would pretty much what I would do like pretty much you guys see more of my story stuff and, and also like maybe get more like get more probably do like more mystery boxes because those things get expensive <laughs> um, number 11 said list three hobbies outside of YouTube when I'm not doing YouTube um, I love video games so I'm always gaming and uh, writing uh, when I can and pretty much like watching movies so I watch movies I game and um, I write <laughs> so um, that's pretty much what I do outside of YouTube I'm happy to bring the writing to YouTube uh, my video games I thought about being a gaming channel but I'm not really like a, a competitive gamer I kind of like just do it for fun and just enjoy the ride so I, I like my sci-fi games <clears throat> some shooter games um, RPG games so it's just stuff like that I like I just play and uh, my story stuff you guys know and um, movies I enjoy going to movies and uh, my own little critic my, myself but I like doing that stuff so that's what I do outside of YouTube uh, number 12 says uh, when do you upload um, I try to upload on Tuesdays like my Funko Tuesdays I try to keep that going uh, mostly for my Funko stuff sometimes I do some Friday stuff from Funko um, and then like my I don't really have like a set day for my stories it depends like how I'm doing with the writing so I've been doing pretty good the last three weeks I've been able to like upload a story every week and I mean a continuation of a story so I plan on continuing that for this week and um, and going forward and so I, I mean until like I have like an end point <laughs> and then continue doing some stories I uh, have a new segment which I'm hoping that can come out some anime stuff um, with some with some special guests and stuff so that's down the line so hopefully that works um, number 13 says uh, where do you what does it say where do you want your channel to be in a in a year's time um I mean I guess similar you know steadily growing uh, people watching um, you know it's always cool like I said to see people watching your stuff because you can always make stuff some stuff and you and you go back and look at it and the way he's watching so I've been fortunate to have people um, you know help me on my channel help me start my channel and uh, my good friend Rob Molina was able to introduce me to like some pop to all you guys in the pop community pretty much because I pretty much started from this from scratch and uh, I've been steadily growing for this past year and um, and I view everybody's um, channel for the most part um, yeah for the most part yeah when I have time I'm always kind of like watching videos and stuff whatever pops up I watch so um so yeah in a year's time I like to say yeah continue growing and um, hopefully you know continue having my story stuff maybe bringing in like I said my new segment I, I want to try to do some anime stuff and um, also hopefully you can like make some quality stuff better like probably bring in some visual, visual visualizations to my stories or maybe like a small movie or something small like fun clip or something so that's why I would like in a year's time and then going forward um, but I'm, I'm happy right now I enjoy doing what I do so um, just to show you guys and pretty much I'm talking too much but <laughs> all right number 14 tell us about your social medias um, I have a uh, Instagram it's popping stories for those who don't know I'll put it I'll put the description in the link below popping stories I also have a Twitter it's popping stories also so it's like pop, so it's not P O P I N some people do that it's P O P pop yeah and then <laughs> the end with a little whatever that thing is possibly thing and then stories so definitely I'll leave it in this description because I obviously don't know how to spell my own stuff but um but yeah so I have those uh, Instagram I, I, I post some stuff up there I need to post some more things but I watch some I watch like the I see like I, I like and follow a lot of people and um, there's always cool stuff coming up videos or new pops or etc and um on Twitter I also go on there I'm also like besides like pop stuff I'm always following different like movie things um, I like like reading scripts and stuff so I always like watch out for like what kind of movie stuff's coming out 
and I like video games and uh, pops and everything all together. So popping stories that my my videos usually go on there also. Um, so just those two for now. And I have a Facebook, but I don't really put anything much on Facebook. It's kind of like my own personal thing. So just Instagram and Twitter for popping stories. And for 15, it says, does pineapple belong on pizza? Uh, I don't put pineapple on pizza. <laughs> I don't. Um, it tastes good, though. I've tried it before. It's not a bad pizza. But I like pepperoni and cheese and cheese pizzas. Um, I like uh, the Alfredo pizzas. It's good with the Alfredo sauce and stuff instead of the marinara sauce. Um, I like a good, like, jalapenos and stuff. I like spicy stuff. So, like, um, yeah, pretty much that kind of those kind of pizza pizza is my favorite food so i kind of like put different things on there i've tried like i said i've tried pineapple pineapple is good as a fruit by itself and it's good on pizza but i don't if i'm ordering pizza or making pizza or anything like that i don't put pineapples on it i know nakama collectibles i know you like pineapples on pizza it's cool i tried it and um those were the 15 questions this is um, very cool uh like i said i've never done this before and it was cool to do it um Going back, I almost forgot. For the equipment I use, I also use um, this light. I was I had it on the side. I almost forgot. It's I use my normal light stuff. Uh, this is just like natural lighting from like my house. I have two lights going, and this is like like an extra like flashlight thing I bought. So I know the question is out of order right now, and this is like last, but I I also use that. It's like an extra lighting boost that helps me out. It was like ten bucks at Walmart, so I don't use like really expensive equipment right now. Maybe in the future. As my channel grows and stuff, and I can get more stuff, I can get like a like a microphone or something, and like some bright lights. But um, the video quality seemed to be okay, and um, so I'm gonna keep it how it's going so far. Um, yeah, thanks you guys for watching. I didn't want to make this video too long, but it's already at almost 17 minutes. I guess my next um, people I challenge to do the small YouTube challenge, small YouTuber challenge. I want to try the popping couple. Oh, those guys are awesome. Uh, very funny. I like their jokes at the end of the videos and all that stuff. They they they, uh, they seem to have a great time making the videos and it's an awesome couple. So definitely check them out and I challenge them. I'll put their link in the bottom. I mean, I'll put their name in the bottom. Something like that, you know. <laughs> and I challenge uh, Sometimes Pops, Tim. Um, awesome um, co um, pop collector also and different like stuff he does on his on his channel. Um, we definitely uh, go back from like beginnings like when we first both started we both were watching each other's content so Tim's awesome from sometimes pops and the popping couple I challenged them too so um, definitely follow them and um, I'll, I'll, I'll wait to see if they make the video uh, once again thanks for watching um, always appreciate you guys stopping by it's Mike it's Mike funny it's popping stories you guys have a good morning afternoon night peace